In this lecture, finally, we are going to use PyTorch to implement linear regression model. In our previous lecture, we talked about how we're going to build computational graph using PyTorch variable. The idea was pretty simple. We just create a variable using PyTorch variable. And then after that, we can just compute, we can perform any operations that as usual Python program. And then the PyTorch knows that, oh, there is variable, then build this, this kind of computational graph automatically. And then once we have this computational graph, basically we need two things. First, we want to do forward pass. And then second, we want to compute the gradients of the loss by doing backward pass. So how are we going to do the forward, which is here? So basically, we're going to just call the loss function for given x and y value, so compute the real value. This is our forward propagation. In backward, we want to know in this case is the gradient of loss. So we identify the variable, which is L, and then we call that L that backward. Then perform the backward propagations, and then compute the gradient loss with respect to all the variable inside of the graph. Especially in our case, we are interested in this W because other values are just given in the data set. Only we can change W. So we are interested in the gradients of loss with respect to W. Where is the gradients? So it's stored W.grad. So we are using these gradients computed after this spec word. We just update this our W value. This is basic concept of neural nets and then also backward and the forward propagation. But now we're going to go one step further using PyTorch. So basically in PyTorch, we have a rhythm in three steps. So first, we're going to design our model using class. Of course, we are going to use variables. And, and then once we have this, this model, we, what we can do is that we can construct loss and the optimizer using PyTorch API. And then after that, we just run our training cycle, which is forward, backward, and update. Let's look at the, our examples. So in, in this case, we are going to use exactly the same data set, but we change the form a little bit of uh, to the metrics. So here, from now on, we are going to use everything to the metrics. Here, our data set is three by three by one metrics, which means that we have three data sets, three data, and then each data has one value, x, x1, only x value here. So this is one. So in fact, we can take n data. So it's n by one, n by one matrix is sort of the input. So we can provide four data, five data, six, or 10 data. But each data has one value x. This is how we define this tensor. And then we make them as variable. And then we're going to go into the rhythm. The first step here is that we're going to model are using the class and in the PyTorch way. So the idea is that we are going to create a class. You can just name anything. So in this case, we call it model, which is a subclass of torch.nn.module. And inside of this class, basically, we have two functions. The first one is initializing this class. And the second one is you must have this function called the forward. Let's go one by one. In initialization, first, you're going to call this supers in it. And then after that, you can do some initialization task, or you can create some elements, some components for your neural net. In our case, we, it's our linear model. So we're going to make a, one linear block by using torch.nn.linear. And we set the one by one. This is our input size. So our input size is one because in each data set, the x value is only one x value. So it's one. And output is also one because we just predict the one y value. And then in the forward function, it's like a free basic example. It's just get x as an input and then try to predict y value. Inside here, we're not going to use x, w, or something. We, we're not going to use our own weight, but we are going to use the block that we initialized in, uh, in it. So self.linear and then we fed this x value and then it will generate y value. We just return this ones. And then once we create this class, 
we can just create the one instance to use this class and that's it this is step one our step two is we are going to define or construct laws or select laws from the API so in our case this is linear regression we are going to use MSE laws which is already implemented in the library it's called criterion for the optimizer previously we manually update these values but now we are going to use stochastic gradient descent algorithm is called SGD algorithm and then when it define or when it create this optimizer we need to pass what parameters what variables we need to update so in this case it's easily we can get the model the parameters can provide all the variables we need to be updated and then when it create also we're going to provide learning rate which is 0.01 in this case you can change this learning rate for your own problem and the next step is actually the most exciting step is training so training is exactly following the forward which is calling this loss and then to backward and then we do update which in this case is called a step so first of all we're gonna go run this epoch cycle and then we're gonna get um, the y prediction value by passing everything so please recall that this x data is matrix we just pass everything to matrix and then we got as matrix so if you want to know what's the output we just add this print statement in here to see so this is extremely simple to see what's the input and what's the output if we want to see and then we're gonna call this function called crit criterion by passing our predicted value plus real data so they compute the differences the loss using MSE and then also, of course if you want if you can print out the loss and then what we're gonna do is that in this case what we did is that we did a forward pass and then now next step is we want to do backward pass so we want to basically call this loss dot backward in order to compute all the the gradients with respect to all the variables before we just compute these gradients we just initialize all the gradients and then after get all the all the gradients we just call this optimizers step to update the variable what kind of variables we need to update already we defined it here so we pass the list of the variables that we need to be updated so this step can do update in our previous example we actually went through each data one by one so in this case we have three data sets so we had loop of three and then we compute the gradients one by one and update it so in this case it's no problem but if you have million data sets so you have to go million times one by one so this is not very efficient so once but once we are using stochastic gradient descent we can deal with a batch so in this case we deal with three data together and then compute the gradients at the same time update the variable at once so once we finish this training we can of course test our model just by calling model that forward like before so just we provide number four here and then try to get variable predicted variable so in this case is the input is variable so we have to create variable for this number four and then uh, this is our result so our training and basically as time goes on the epoch goes on this is our loss the loss becomes extremely small and then when you try to ask I, I want I started the four hour but what will my grade it's almost close to eight which is correct points so everything works fine so in quick summary this is our entire source code that the food is just simply in one slide using PyTorch so this is how we define our data with the metrics and then this is our, our model that using this class and then we defined the criterion and optimizer and in optimizer we provided what kind of variables we need to update and then we run the training cycle and then it's exactly following the rhythm we design our model this is linear and then we construct loss and optimizer and then we just run training cycle forward backward and update in this case we use the step from our optimizer so if you want to do something more complicated classifications or other tasks for example here we want to classify this image 
but don't worry we're gonna follow exactly the same step here three kind of uh, um, rhythm here right so we first of all we're we gonna design our model using our class in this case it's a little bit complicated but initialize we just define all the components which is necessarily and then in forward for given x using this component we just return this value our prediction and then our rhythm 2 what we're gonna do is that we're gonna define our criterion in this case is we are using cross entropy loss because it's a different set of problem we just just choose different type of loss and then in this optimizer we just used SDG and that time also we're gonna pass this net parameters so that SGD knows exactly what parameters they need to update and then we're gonna just run this cycle so run the epoch and then inside here we just compute this output using this net and then we run this loss and this is our fold cycle once we finish the loss what we do is that we run the backward and then this compute the gradient and then we run the step that updates our parameters which is given here that's all this is how we're gonna use PyTorch by following their style and their rhythm there are some exercises we want to do so in our lecture we introduced SGD but there are many other optimizers some are even much better than SGD so you can try out other optimizers and then see which one is better for your problem and now you can basically understand the PyTorch concept so you can read more examples to understand more about the PyTorch in our next lecture we're going to talk about the basic block of neural net which is called logistic regression